Hi friends, it's Drayton, world's greatest kiting. Yesterday I showed you this umbrella. It almost matches the, the color of my sunglasses, don't you think? Anyway, I put it in the washer and it didn't survive, which is okay. It's okay. It just came apart, totally came apart, which is what I was going to have to do to it anyway. So it just took a step out of the, out of the uh, equation for me. A happy accident. As Bob Ross would say. Something else I wanted to show you today is this. These clouds. Florida, this time of year, produces these gigantic clouds daily. These kind of clouds. Occasionally there's a day with no clouds at this time of year, but that's pretty rare. It will probably rain out of these clouds at some point today. These are the feathers. I've shown this to you guys before. Some of you may not have seen that far back, but uh, here's an example. This is all from the last Kite Mania, Feather Mania. It happened at Treasure Island Beach. Some of you even use beads, see? So you don't even have to, don't even have to make a feather, but a lot of these, this is uh, just scrap material from different projects that people have, have done. And just looking through, I see Brenda's. That's the old Thunderbird tail there and AJ's uh, 13 point lightning bolt Grateful Dead themed was from me last year see people sign them there's Lee Sedgwick's very cool feather which is a functional boomerang indoor boomerang very cool just some cool just a cool thing to do AJ really spent a lot of time on his that was that was a really cool feather. And there's the kitty. Red. You like feathers? Yeah. Cats like them too. Friends, I wanted to show you how I made my feathers last year for Feather Mania. I did all of these in one day's time. Actually, I did a couple prototypes like this one the day before, but that was only about five that we did the day before. The rest of them, the other 95 we did the next day, the day before Feather Mania. Bad timing. So each one of these I put one of my buttons on, so everybody got a button, and this was this was the theme. This, this is what it looked like. I was trying to go for something feather-like, but I didn't like the look of that so well. This is what I stuck with. What I did was use the bottom of one of these like Publix reusable cloth grocery bags and I had this, this like, not very firm, but it's a protective layer at the bottom so your groceries don't fall off. It's perfect for templates. So I, I cut that out. Also made a smaller one too that actually fits just inside there. I had some plans for different things, but I'm going to use this paint. If you don't know about this, you should. Here's the beginning of one. This is how we did it. How I made these took a little bit of time. Some of the method could have been improved on, but here's what we did. I took this square piece of ripstop nylon, just individually cut them out, put this template right over top, That's backwards, put the template on top like this and then with a, uh, a board or a piece of cardboard or newspaper just laid it right across, sprayed one side blue, sprayed the other side red. What I used was this spray paint right here. This is the best stuff that you can use on fabric that I know of, especially if you're making kites or props. This kind of spray paint here, you can get this at Michael's Crafts or some other craft stores around you, I'm sure. I'm sure you can also order it online, Design Master brand paint. It virtually has no weight. And what a lot of people don't realize is that regular spray paint has a lot of weight to it. So if you're making things like kites and you want to dye the kite or color it somehow, that is a great option. And it comes in every color you can, you can think of. 
So this is how we did it. And then each one individually cut out just around the edge to expose some color and ended up with a product like this. You sign every one, attach the button, and create a complete disaster of a mess with these safety pins. Not a good idea. Do not use safety pins and try to attach. What I did was take a big one and then attached all the small ones to the big one. It was a major fail. All day I was struggling trying to get them separated to give them away. There's a better way to do it. Definitely a better way. So that's it everybody. Pretty simple project. This came from just some scrap ripstop nylon sitting around. I happen to have those buttons made. As you guys have seen on worldsgreatestkiting.com, I know all of you go there every day just to check it out. And I know that you know already, I don't even need to tell you, but I know you know that these buttons are available as well as some other, some other fine items, stickers, and soon these will be available. These, however, will be available to those who donate on Patreon. If you don't know what Patreon is, it is a website for creators. It helps fuel the artwork that you're seeing. A lot of you maybe don't pay for cable, maybe you're watching this on a uh, Wi-Fi system, maybe you're watching this on your TV through Apple TV or something, and without having a cable bill anymore, a lot of people find it nice to be able to support the people that they're watching on TV, because this is all free work, this free entertainment for you, and it does take a lot of time, so it's good to have people in your corner doing this. And when you do donate on Patreon, you're going to get one of these exact feathers in this pile until they're gone. Hopefully it won't be long. I want to say a special thanks to my new friends Jim and Lenny. Thank you, thank you very much for being the very first Patreon supporters of World's Greatest Kiting. I sent Jim and Lenny this feather and they have it hanging right in their archway of their living room for everybody to see. I think it is so cool. Thank you guys for doing that. I really appreciate it and thank you for your support. Maybe I should have been a weatherman. Maybe not. Probably not. I really like this umbrella that I borrowed. And what are the chances that I run into someone else with the same exact nice umbrella? Umbrella? <laughs> you must have got a free, uh, you must have signed up for the newspaper or something. Safety time slow. I don't yeah. know when I got this. Yeah, well, Safety time. time. Yeah. yeah. Well, nice umbrella, sir. <laughs> that was funny. I've never seen that guy in my life. I told you it was going to rain today. You guys recognize uh, this is the piano that a lot of people play on. It's kind of cool that they cover it up so it's protected. Hey Sylvia, ping pong champion. I think I'm going to give a couple options for feathers. Tell me what you guys think. I'm going to do the same pattern that I did before. Trace that out and cut it out. We'll do a different one too. And if you guys could leave a comment, let me know what you think. And if it's not one of these two, give me some suggestions. Those are it. What do you guys think? Maybe even something different than these two? I don't know about this one. I think it's gonna to be too flimsy. That thing might break off, even though this is pretty strong fabric. I don't like this one so much. And 
this one I already used. So maybe there's some kind of a variation. Something else that can be done. I don't know. I like the... I'm a big Grateful Dead fan, so I like the idea of having something in reference, but I don't want to reuse something. So what do you guys think? What do you think? Guys, I like the idea of using the little umbrella because it came from an umbrella, but I don't I just don't think it's going to work. Anyway, we'll figure that out later on. Tomorrow is a whole new day. It's going to be Friday tomorrow where I am, and Saturday, or depends on where in the world you are, it might be even Sunday by the time you watch it, but it'll be a new adventure for then. And until then, happy flying.